Sketches of life. Inquisitive customer eats at a fast food restaurant. Outside of a fast food chain restaurant called Burger Prince, Bruce, a short, friendly doofus, is talking with his friend Jimmy, about to go inside to have lunch. Are you sure about this? Bruce asks. It's a Burger Prince, Jimmy says. What's there to be sure about? They've made billions of burgers, like the sign says. But I've never had a Prince Burger before. But it does smell pretty good. See, that's not how you say it. Look, we'll just go inside, and you can get the same thing I get. If you like it, you eat it. If not, I'll eat it. I'm hungry. I think this is a personal choice that I have to make on my own. Suit yourself. I'm hungry. I'm going in. Jimmy enters. Bruce waits about five seconds. He looks longingly at the burrito chain next door, then reluctantly enters. The scene cuts to the inside of the Prince Burger. There is no line. Jimmy goes up to the first cash register and starts to order. Bruce sees a girl waiting at the second cash register, waiting to take his order. He approaches the counter, but keeps an eye on Jimmy. Yeah, quarter prints with cheese, large fries, coke. Bruce approaches his cashier. If I order a quarter prints, am I getting a quarter pound of something? It's a hamburger, the cashier says. Does the quarter pound include the bread? No. So if I get a quarter pound of hamburger, I have to order the bread separately. Jimmy, did you get bread with your hamburger? No, no, no. The burger comes with bread, the cashier says. But the weight of the quarter pound is only the weight of the meat. Okay, I think I understand. And if I heard my friend Jimmy correctly, you do have Cokes here. As he asks this question... The scene shows that there's clearly a large Coca-Cola image displayed prominently behind the cashier. There are a couple of people now forming a line behind Bruce. Yes, you heard your friend Jimmy correctly. We do have Coke products. Would you like one? I would, but I need to know what the temperature at which you serve your Coke. Temperature? It's cold. It's served cold. Yes, but how cold? I prefer 5.5 degrees Celsius or lower. I'm sorry, I don't know exactly how cold it is. It's really cold, plus you can get it with ice to make it even colder. I think I'll have to pass in the cola then if you can't give me a precise measurement on how cold it is. Okay, that's fine. Do you want fries with that? Cashier asks. Fries. Jimmy, what do you think? Should I get fries? Yeah, just get the fries. Come on, I've already got my food. You're holding up the line. But this is my hot hamburger meal. I want a burrito. And instead, I'm standing here in line ordering a hamburger. Because you said no, we have to have Prince Burger. It's Burger Prince, and you didn't say anything about any burritos. I shouldn't have to. Well, you can go grab a burrito somewhere else. Nobody's stopping you. You go grab a burrito, I'll get my burger, and we'll meet outside and have lunch there. It's a nice day. Nope, I'm stuck here now. Stuck at Prince Burger. I apologize, ma'am. I'm really sorry about this. I'm rooting for this meal to succeed, but so far, it's looking grim. I'm rooting for your meal to succeed, too, Cashier says. Thank you, Bruce says, not picking up on the sarcasm. I have to make sure this meal is worth eating. Now, do you know the average length and width of your fries? Length? Uh, there's some fries right there. She points to Jimmy's tray, where the fries are sitting with the hamburger, for Bruce to refer to. I don't have a tape measure or ruler on me right now, Bruce says. Bruce, I'll tell you what. I'll buy an order of fries, and you can measure them with any device you'd like. And if you don't want them, I'll eat them. You can measure them with the length of your phone. You can measure them with your middle finger. 
Why do you care how long they are? Cashier asks him. I have a very sensitive oral salt complex, and only certain fries work. If they're too long, they hit the back of my mouth. I need short ones. That's stupid, Jimmy says. Look, forget it. Look, one more order of fries for me, and when they come, put them on his tray. You don't really have to do that. I want to. Now, I really want to watch you eat them. Okay, thanks, Jimmy. They, con they complete their order. Scene then cuts quickly to the back. After Bruce's order is complete, the cashier goes back to the kitchen to talk to the cook. Extra snot on this guy's burger. As much as you can get on there. Stage 5 asswipe up there. Pube him, too. The cook nods, then takes a hamburger bun and puts it down the front of his pants and dabs it on his genitalia before taking it out and then putting the burger on it. The scene cuts as he is audibly sniffing to pull up some phlegm to shoot onto the burger. Now Bruce and Jimmy are sitting down eating. Bruce is examining each fry one at a time, measuring it against his cell phone. He then takes a plastic knife and fork to cut a few long ones down to about three inches in length. He then eats them one at a time, deliberately, though kind of swiftly, each one very satisfying to him. After he finishes a couple of them, he takes a decadent bite of his hamburger. How is it? This is delicious. Good choice, Jimmy. I think that this will not be the last time I eat at Prince Burger. It's Burger Prince, genius. The scene ends with a close-up of Bruce taking another bite of his half-eaten hamburger. Smiling. And scene. Recorded May 22nd, 2013.